today i'll be teaching as to how to do a vcm model before doing this model you have to check the stationarity check the optimal lag and check the co integration only if the variables are co integrated you can use the vcm model i'll come to this part later i'll just minimize the screen over here so i have uh, my file name is vecm and the uh, data is on the screen next work is to attach the file attach and vecm and then click enter later library for doing the vcm model you have to install a package called ts capital d y and n and then click enter for that uh, you have to go to tools uh, you have to go to install packages and then just a second it is getting a bit late and there you have to type ts capital d y n i have already installed so i am not going to do it so i am just cancelling over it so once this work is done we have to go for the model so the command will be type give any name uh, now i am going to give the name as model anything it is left to you all to decide what name you have to give and put an equal sign you can give it as m1 or model 1 or uh, macro variables anything whatever it is your wish and then type v e c m whenever it prompts just click over it v e c m then data dot frame why this is done to include all the variables which you are going to add in the analysis gdp is your dependent variable comma fdi is your independent variable over here you can add n number of independent variables it is left to you all then after that from the bracket just move out and put a comma each and every uh, sign is important Late, later you have to type lag so in my uh, earlier analysis i have taught how to uh, check for the optimal lag and i have already uh, said that i will be taking over the se criterion so kindly check my earlier video on optimal lag where i have taken two and then put a comma next is r r refers to the co integrating equation so in my uh, work i could find only one co integrating equation just so r is equal to 1 you will get more than one you might get two or three but however depends upon the number of variables you have chosen and next it is easy if you take one it is good for your uh, interpretation part and then later put comma so the estimation method is e s t i m is equal to we are going to take maximum likelihood so with the help of shift key inverted quotes then you have to write uh, in caps m l so your command is over relating to v e c m and then click enter so you will get the answer only when you type summary summary of what you have given a name called model so you need the summary of the model so m o d e l so you can just click over here also no issues but just uh, check over because you should not uh, click mode so because the uh, name of the mo command is model so then later click enter you can ignore these warning messages and in this analysis you are just going to see your ect the gdp lag 
we have T i. So you will be taking only the first equation. Why you are taking the first equation? Because you have got only uh, what is it? GDP depends on F d i. So GDP is your dependent variable and F d i is independent variable. So you will be taking only the first equation. You won't be taking the second equation for your interpretation. So how this part has to be interpreted? That I will just. bring my uh, word file on the top as i have already told uh, only if the variables are co integrated you can use vcm model then you have to install packages that is tsdyn in the r software you need not convert the variable into first difference because vcm will automatically convert the variable into first difference so you need not do that Next is while interpreting, take the first equation alone. I have already told you have to take only the first part of it. That's it, and don't take the second part because why you are not taking the second equation? Because your dependent variable is GDP, so you have to take only the first part of the equation. And if here I have taken only two lags, so the condition is if suppose I have got. Four lags, at least two should be significant. If I have got three lags, at least two should be significant. That is, at least fifty percent and more should be significant. Then only you can say that there is a short run causality. So these eight conditions should be kept in mind while doing your analysis. So next is your interpretation part. You just see. So for your long run association between GDP and FDI, you have to see your ECT. So it has gone. Okay, you have to see your ECT. So ECT should be negative and significant. If it is negative and not significant, then you can't say there is a long run association. So the criteria is it has to be negative. The ECT should be error correction term should be negative, as well as it should be significant. Then only you can say there is a. Long run association or causality moving from FDI to GDP, whereby the disequilibrium can be can be converted to equilibrium in the long run by 3.4 percent. See, it is 0.034, so we can say it as 3.4 percent. The next part, if it is not significant, but the ECT might be negative or positive, whatever the case may be. Then your interpretation is then the disequilibrium cannot be corrected into equilibrium in the long run. So this is your first part of the equation as to how it has to be interpreted. You can leave this intercept. Next we are going to the uh, GDP lag value. So in case of GDP, so from year onwards it shows short run causality. ECT alone. refers to long run causality so in the case of short run in the case of gdp there is a short run causality or association derived from its own lag that is you can just see only gdp lag 1 alone is significant but the second lag is not significant so you can say there is a short run causality because there is a 50% uh, uh significance if both are not significant then you can say it is there is no association so short run causality is not there you can say now in the case of fdi fdi lag 1 as well as lag 2 are significant and and has a short run association with gdp so this is the crux of this vecm model you can refer my video on vecm in eviews where in a similar pattern the interpretation has been done hope you are clear with this analysis thank you for listening